everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2016 for the Lafitte Fire Department Haunted House in Lafitte, Louisiana. Yes. And this is one that we didn't go to alone. We did not. We took a lot of people. We brought 11 people with us. We brought as significant a portion of our crew as we could to it. Yep. Um, so yeah, we brought 11 people with us to partake in this haunt because this is one that we were excited to find out was back. Yes, because they didn't have a review last year because they, they weren't open. open. And the reason they weren't open is basically administrative stuff. They had, yeah. they were doing stuff on their end and basically they were doing like some kind of state review. They tried to explain it to me. Yeah. But basically it was boring. Um, <laughs> no. No, I'm just kidding. Jesus! You think I meant that? <laughs> no, it's basically that it was administrative stuff, right. and they had a person there from like the state or something, mm -hmm. so they couldn't do it right then. Yeah, that's okay. That that stuff happens. Glad yeah. that they're back this year, and they made some pretty radical changes this year. Yes, they did. Um, the biggest change was significant portions of their haunt moved from the tarp tunnel layout they've been doing right. to actual panel based layout. Yes something most haunts are very familiar with. Yeah, and whenever you make that jump, it's gonna have an extra cost. Uh, both in time, money, and everything, yeah. yeah. It is ludicrously expensive to do that with a haunt the size of Lafitte's. Right. So, kudos to you guys for making that big move. That's, that's, that's not a small deal. Nope. And as a haunter, I definitely respect that jump. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, we're still clearing out some of our uh, Old uh, Masonite panels. Masonite panels. Yeah, but, but okay. Masonite was cheaper than OSB. There was a time <laughs> in New Orleans right after Hurricane Katrina that OSB and plywood was in short yeah. supply. Yeah. We used what we had, okay? Yeah. But this isn't about us. No, it's not. It's about Lafitte being back. Yes, they are. And, you know, the thing about Lafitte has always been this is the old style charity haunt experience that right. you don't get much anymore. No. It takes me back to the, the JCs and the Boy Scouts and that type of stuff. Yeah. It really, the, the really, really creative, really out there, crazy, zany stuff that you just don't see at mainstream mm -hmm. haunts anymore. Yeah. And, you know, the spirit is still there. It is. I will say that. Um, the main difference this year, in addition to construction, is that the blackout maze portion of it has been expanded. Yes. Greatly. And I'm not fond of blackout mazes. I'm going to be straight. I am not fond of them, but I knew that there was one because they advertised it. Very, They did. They were very clear about it. Yes. And that it was going to be longer, and so I was mentally prepared to do it. And I will say this. Of all the blackout mazes I've done, and I've done my fair share now, Yeah, this was probably my favorite. Yeah. I would agree with that. The actors in it were doing amazing work, and they were... See, this is the thing. The reason I don't like blackout <laughs> mazes is because... It's not super creative in my right. opinion, usually. Yeah. Because basically it's black walls, black, and it's a maze. Right. I mean, that's one of the things we have here is that you won't see many black walls yeah. without some kind of detail on it. it every wall is detailed in some way. Yeah. And I think, and the thing about a blackout maze is you don't get that. There's no props, there's no scares, there's right. just, you know, the blackness. Well, but they worked it. Yeah, they did. And they had actors in there. They had several actors in there that did do scares and yes. startles. Um, they had a very creative one for your group. Yeah. Um, the, the, act, the, uh, the, um, the actors teamed up, and they like formed a little conga line amongst themselves. Right. And they started screaming, hey, is that another group in here? Yeah. And see, we would go, because we were so many. We went in two separate right. groups. And you and I had separated. So I went, oh, Crystal, is that you? And then, of course, then Flash on his chin. Not Crystal! Yeah. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> yeah. Please <Really> slap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then another one was um, they were pretending that they lost someone from their group and asking us if yeah. we could help find them. So yeah. then we're all chanting out the name that they said. Yeah, they, so, they pulled that yeah. one to it at another point. So, yeah, they have some very creative scares in there. So it's definitely right. the most creative blackout maze I've seen. But still, on some level, it is just a blackout maze. Right. So there's that. But I gotta say, the haunt portion still had a lot of that creativity to it, yes. too. There was a scene involving a meat grinder. Yes, that was awesome. <laughs> that was my favorite scene. <laughs> that was mine, too. And the thing about this is, every haunt from the JCs to the Boy Scouts have done the table with the guts gag. Right. I don't wanna give too much away. This is a variation of it. 
Yep. That is beautiful. Yes. <laughs> it is original. I have not seen it before. Yep. I have not thought of it before. Yep. It was beautiful, and the kid in it sold it so hard. Yes. And for real quick, a second honorary mention from me is that because I had a different experience than you, was there was a Santa in a room. Yes. And there was a little kid behind him dressed as the little clown. Mm-hmm. And that little kid was really good on timing. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, and that's where they seem to excel is they do very simple rooms with simple scares. Right. And they hone them and they time them beautifully. Yes. And this is another one of those haunts that is good for any age. Yes. You know, anybody can go to this. Not too gory, no foul language, nope. none of that stuff. And like I said, good old spook house vibe to it. Except this one, of course, is like I said, the more older style of haunt. Right. The more the 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 much more charity haunt yeah. style. So, but yeah, they did a really really good job with it. It's just I I really 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 wish they had more haunt and less blackout base. For me personally, the right. mix felt a little bit off. Yeah. But still. And like I said, the Blackout Maze itself wasn't that bad as far as Blackout Mazes go. No. I think it was actually probably the best I've seen. Yeah. If you like Blackout Mazes, get in the car and go there now. This, yeah. is, this is your top dog, man. I'm just yeah. At least in this area. I think it's the only one in this area. Yeah, I think it is this year. Yeah. I don't know. We've got a few more haunts to hit up this year. Well, yeah. But so far. So far this year, of the haunts we've done in southeast Louisiana and southern Louisiana, right. it is the only one with the Blackout Maze. Yes. That is true. But yeah, it, 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 I don't know. It was a lot of fun. I really did enjoy it. They're right. great people there. They have fun, and I love their waiting area still. Yes, and once again, it is a, a large um, charity for the whole community. Yes. Um, the money goes to fund scholarships and... Fire education. Fire education. Uh, uh, parade that they do. There's some kind of uh, medical research usually. Yeah, and then um, they do... Basically, this money goes to all kinds of great stuff in the community of Lafitte. Right. So it, it goes all sorts of which ways, and it's all great ways. Yep. And it's still only 10 bucks a ticket. Yes. And I can pretty much guarantee you, unless you are freaking ninja master at that maze, right. you're getting out way, you're getting out way later than 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you're getting, you're getting your money's well, worth from a time standpoint, too. Yeah. So do we want to do the one criticism? Uh, yes, we should we, do. We should do the one criticism, right. since I just mentioned it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um... The guide was a little slow going through. And yeah. I don't know if that was because it was us yeah. and they were trying to make sure we saw everything yeah. or if um, that's the normal pace to go through. Yeah. Um, I mean, I admittedly go through a haunt at a glacial pace to yes. begin with. So I am not a, a fast haunt goer. I usually walk right. around looking at everything. Ooh, nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, hi, actor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, I'm that guy. I love going through haunts slowly. Mm -hmm. But they have to have a guide for fire code reasons. I know right. this. That's fine. I get it. Please don't stop that. No. <laughs> please we, don't. Please don't get yourselves in trouble. Yeah. No. Please don't. No, we we no. like you guys. We like you. We want people to go to you. Stay open. Yes. Uh, so, but but that being said, there were several times in which we went into a room, and the scare had activated. The reaction was got, mm -hmm. and there was nothing else really to do, and the guide was not letting us into the next room. Right. And that was a little frustrating for both us and the actors, I think. Right, because then you're just both standing there, like. Yeah, I got nothing. Yeah, so keep the pacing steady. Let the group set the pace a little more. Be my advice there. Yeah. Um, because and that's it. if the group's ready to go, let them go. Yeah. Yeah, be the guide. But yeah. But yeah, all in all, it was a very fun experience. Like I said, oh, if yeah. you're in the blackout mazes, this is your top dog. Yeah. It's not my thing, but I have to admit, I did enjoy the creativity of the scares and the effort they put into coming up with the stuff. Right. You can tell that this is a, a group of people who sit around over beers or coffees or whatever. Whatever their preference. Yeah, whatever their preference is. I'm not here to judge. They're, they, they come up with great ideas for scaring people. Yeah. And they implement them in this haunt. It shows. And my big hope yes. is they switch to panel-based construction. Yes. You and I know what that means. Uh, that means drop panels, for no. one. <laughs> no, that means reusable walls. Well, that's true, too. That's the big one. That means yeah. they don't have to redo everything year after year. Right. They can take some at, they take the panels, store them, and bring them out, and then build more and use this as a means to expand and grow much more easily. Right. So I'm excited about that. Yes, I'm looking forward to next year now. Yeah. Yep. So this could, this, this could be the start of something really big. Right. So well, hopefully, stay tuned for next year's review. It's going to be interesting. I have a feeling. Yes. Well, anything else? 
Batson. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Heart Out of the Can Haunt Review 2016 for the Lafitte Fire Department Haunted House. We will see you guys next time. I need more short sleeve Halloween. Yes, you do. You will take it. Yes.